try. This time we're trying it slow and easy. So, 280 RPM this time. I got a brand new bit with a different style of material. And right now it seems to be cutting. We'll see how long this lasts before it disintegrates. Sure, looks like you have to get a little further along there. Alright, oh, this seems to be working pretty good. Oh shit! That's supposed to swear on YouTube. <laughs> wow. I hit the wrong button, hit the off button. There's the button I was looking for. You can see the witness marks and how flat it is. See how it just drags and leaves the bits on the other side? Yep. Those are the witness marks. You can see the waviness in it, the high and low. It tells you how flat your head is over there. If the sled is tilted, you only have one group of cuts. And you got two cuts like this, you know it's flat. You see over there on the back side over here, there's a low spot way back there. It's pretty flat. That's why that new bit lasted this long. It's good. Usually they're dead by this long. <laughs> Pin right through here. Yep, looks pretty good. Well, we'll see what it looks like after we stop here. Okay, we got this one all wiped off. See, it looks pretty good. You can see how it feathers in and out across these holes. You can see how the cutter leaves a mark where it, there's a little bit of a low spot through there, but it's be hard to measure that but you can see it anyway here's my finish here so we have that much noise this is what it was like before which is a little bit coarser <laughs> yeah. a little different size shape yeah. <laughs> so <clears throat> I think I'm supposed to cut this too but, uh, anyway that's what that looks like. So it looks really good with repair, I see, right there. Right. Pins went all the way. Now, when we pressure tested, hopefully there's no bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the plus. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, that's what it looks like there. <coughs> so I got to take this and got to bore this hole out and clean that mess up there and then continue on. <laughs>